look. I deal with the pencils, I deal with the books. Not noses and crying, I'm shook. If you like me and you need a hand, I know fair, I got the master plan. Who the coolest teacher in the land? The coolest teacher in the land. You say it's you? What's nah. that plan? I'm coolest teacher in the land. Coolest teacher in the land. Coolest teacher in the land. Well, from the A to the A, from the to Japan. Coolest teacher in the land. You. What's up, y'all? You already know who it is. Your girl, your niece, your auntie, your cousin, your bestie. But I'm not your mama, though. That's right. It's April Praise, a.k.a. the coolest teacher in the land. How are you? I'm so happy you came back. Like the old preachers used to say, I'm going to get right to it today, okay? Because we are going to be talking about a topic that is known among each and every educator, no matter if you've been teaching one years or 30 years. Yes, I said one years. I'm a real educator. Um, I call this episode today, All Eyes on Me, because we are talking about observations. Yes, observations. You know, when they come through your door and you feel like I always be around. Somebody's watching me. And I have no rocks. Yes, those beautiful observations. Those are what we're talking about today. Now, we all know the stages of an observation. You see that door open and they walk in with their laptop. And in your head, you're thinking, Oh, no. No, 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 no. But you see an observation is going to take place. So you give yourself a little mental pep talk as they take their seat. And you're ready. You say, I'm going to kill this observation. And as soon as you open your mouth, you sound like, Dad, you, 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 can, you do what you, you want. And then, of course, what happens? As soon as you start stuttering, your students say, Oh, we about to turn up and start acting like and then of course you say you know what i failed this observation i failed at life this is my future and you think you are bound to just watch this for the rest of your days you're sitting on the couch you're watching tv and your life's passing you by did i describe it correctly i know i did i know i did because even though i am the coolest teacher in the land I have trouble keeping my cool when it comes to observations. Even this past week, I had to text some of my friends, pray for me, because I knew, I knew, you know you know, okay? They, I know you know. I knew I was gonna be observed this week. So I just had to ask the saints to pray for me. Not pray for me, pray for my kids. Okay, pray that they get their lives. I remember one time at the first school I taught at, I had somebody come and observe and they were sitting at a desk and I had risers. And so the desk they were sitting at, I was standing up in front of the desk. The students' risers were right here as they were teaching. Now, you got to learn some stuff with observations, okay? You got to learn how to take control of the class with your face. Because as I'm teaching, one of my students wants to act up. And God bless my mother because I learned that opening your eyes really wide and gritting your teeth will make a child get together like that. So I'm sitting here just doing this as if I were regularly teaching because like I said, I had my back to her and I look at the student. <laughs> and of course he got his life together. You got to learn how to do that. You got to learn how to do that. But have no fear of observations. And as I talk to you, I'm talking to myself. Have no fear of observations because feedback is necessary for you to grow as a teacher. The moment that you become complacent with your teaching, the moment you think that you can't change, that you're unteachable, is the moment you really need to have a conversation with yourself and say, how, do I get, how did I get here? Feedback is necessary for growth because you cannot grow where you're comfortable. And feedback makes you uncomfortable. But that's okay. That's a good kind of uncomfortable. That's an uncomfortable that makes you change up things. And ultimately, 
even if it's not expressed or communicated in the best way, the feedback is there to help you grow so that your students grow. Okay, have no fear. Dr. April, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm here to give you some tips on how to get over observation anxiety. Number one, probably the most important one, keep your composure. Okay, now we've all had the experience um, with a stray dog and you see the dog, the dog looking at you like, what's up? And you looking at the dog, like, ain't nothing up. You chilling. Dog like, all right. You like, all right. And you know, if you make one swift move, that dog is going to come after you. promise they are if you start changing your whole attitude if normally you like uh what's up guys da, 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 da. and then all of a sudden you're like good morning class they're gonna say hold on it don't smell right in here and they're gonna act up if you keep your calm they'll keep their calm okay and everything else will fall into place so keep your composure when you know you're being observed number two Worry about what you can control, okay? There's no need to worry about things that are out of your control because, well, you can't do anything about them. If little Johnny has a nosebleed in the middle of an observation, don't think, oh, this is going down the tank. Like, just handle the nosebleed, okay? If there's a fire drill during the observation, handle the fire drill. Worry about what you can control there's no need for you to sit there and think about the things that you have no control over because you can't change them. And probably number three and the biggest feedback that I can give you, the biggest tip that I can give you is that feedback needs to be taken at face value. What am I saying? I am somebody who used to read very deeply and still do at times read deeper into what somebody was saying than what they were actually saying. For instance, if you're doing a post-conference of your observation and your appraiser says, try doing this to keep the students more engaged. Did they call you a boring teacher? Did they say you should probably quit? Did they say they're gonna put you on an action plan? No, okay. They were just giving you feedback to keep the students more engaged because maybe you couldn't see that they were falling asleep. It's okay. If they come in and say, let's try this next time to differentiate uh, the instruction for the various learners. Did they say, you're a one trick pony. I don't even know how you made it in this town. No, they didn't say that, okay? They just said, try this because Ultimately, I know we deal with a lot of different things when it comes to appraisers or evaluators or whatever you call them at your school, but ultimately they want the best for their students. They want the best for the students. We want the best for the students. And so the feedback they're giving you is for your betterment and for your students' betterment. So just take it at face value. Don't think any deeper into it than necessary. And here's a bonus, bonus diamond. When you go home, don't think about it, okay? When you go home, leave that at school. Leave that at school. That, that thinking and worrying has no place in your home. You should be able to come home and just relax, okay? So, observations. Don't let them get the best of you anymore. As I talk to you, I'm talking to myself. We are going to overcome this observation anxiety together, all right? Thank you once again for coming to see me. <laughs> Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to know when we're posting something new, and share it with each and every teacher you know. And if you like what you heard, please book me, okay? Get me flued out to your school. I would love to come and talk 
with the other teachers at your school and to motivate and inspire them because I'm telling y'all, I'm probably more engaging than half the people in college. Just saying, I'm just saying, I'm fun. But you know I'm fun. That's why you're here. That's why you always come back. Coolest teacher in the land. I'm out.